are two core, two systems of chords. Ten Mississippi. To do the fourteen. Um, all right, Secretary of State. Secretary of State deals with everything outside of America. Deals with everything outside. So today we're going to cover the second benchmark about citizenship. And just a reminder, this is the Florida and of course benchmark, but all civics classes cover pretty much the same content. So the benchmark is evaluate the obligations citizens have to obey laws, pay taxes, defend the nation, and serve on juries. Now, this seems pretty straightforward, and uh, a lot of it seems like common sense, but let's go over all the things you're going to need to know to ace the test. Okay, uh, we have our key terms, we have obligations and duties, services, volunteer, selective service, jury, summons, and again, remember, the, these are highlighted in red throughout the presentation, so these are the words we really need to know. Now, first of all, you need to know that obligations and duties, and they'll use these two words interchangeably, these are the things that you have to do, okay? Uh, you must do them. You don't have a choice. You've probably got some obligations of your own. Maybe your school has school uniforms. Uh, your homework is usually an obligation. These are things that you have to do, and if you don't do them, there will be consequences, okay? So our list of obligations are to obey the laws, pay taxes, register with the selective service, and defend the nation if needed serve on juries if summoned, and attend school until you're 16. Now, you have to not so much memorize this list, but you have to be able to pick these out, usually in a passage or in a graph. So yeah, let's, let's memorize them. Again, I would write these in my notes as bullets, and then on a separate page as a web diagram with pictures. Let's look a little closer at these obligations. So why is it important to pay taxes? Um, most of you should be familiar with taxes. This is the money that the government takes. Uh, you probably know sales tax, but there's a variety of taxes that we adults pay, such as income tax, that's a tax on the money we make, and property taxes. and you know, why is it important to pay your taxes? Well, taxes pay for what are called services. And services are the things that the government provides us, such as trash pickup I put up there, and mail delivery, and roads. But there's a lot more. Uh, schools, libraries, our courts, the military, our parks, disaster relief, and welfare programs. There's a long list of government services. So it's really important that we pay our taxes in order to get these services. Okay, so another obligation is to defend the nation. And this leads to our obligation to register with what is called the Selective Service. Um, the Selective Service says that all males must register for the armed services at the age of 18 in case there is a draft. This is an important aspect of defending the nation. Now, the reason males have to register with selective service is in case there is a war and soldiers are needed. Okay, we see a word down there that is not one of our key terms, but I highlighted it. It's a word you need to know, and that is draft. A draft is when people are required to join the military. And we've had a lot of drafts for America's wars, um, but the last time was Vietnam. And we've had wars since then, but they were all fought with volunteers. Now, I have included a link below about the history of the draft in America. And teachers, this PowerPoint and a bunch of activities are available at Teachers Pay Teachers. Hey, it's only $1.99 if you want to pick it up. Because we don't really have to time to go over the draft in more detail. 
but you should talk to your teacher or your parents about this one. Okay, so our next obligation is jury service. I think most of you have probably seen juries on TV or in the movies. Um, a jury is a group of quote unquote peers who listen to evidence and give a verdict in a court case. Okay, now jury service is not voluntary. Although sometimes we adults pretend that it is. Um, we get letters in the mail telling us to show up for jury service. And what those are called is a summons. It's a jury summons. This is an official order to appear in court. Um, now we're gonna come back to juries several times this year during the Bill of Rights and our court system. Um, this is a constitutional right. And people want to have a group of your peers deciding a court case because you don't want the government doing that, okay? The important thing to remember, because we are gonna come back to, to this, is that jury service is an obligation. Okay, so while obligations are the things that you must do, responsibilities are the things that you should do. And these are just as important as our obligations to make sure that the country is running smoothly. So our responsibilities are to stay informed about national, state, and local issues and public affairs, to vote in elections and join a political party, to run for elected office or serve on committees, contact or petition the government, um, a petition, by the way, is a formal request to do something. So there you see your definition. Make sure you write that down. And we'll come back to that when we do the First Amendment as well. And then last but not least is to volunteer in your community. Okay. Again, we need to memorize these responsibilities. So be sure to write those down and maybe do it as bullets and again as a web diagram with pictures. Okay, so let's look further at these. Okay, so staying informed is something that is important for all citizens to do, whether by reading the newspaper, or watching the news, um, and today the internet has been a, become a huge way to stay informed. Although hopefully you're not getting your news from Instagram. Although I will admit, I get a lot of my news from Facebook these days because I follow news stations and newspapers. So I better not discount any form for staying informed because it's really important for us to keep track of the big issues. Now, why is staying informed so important? Well, it goes hand in hand with voting. Okay, and there'll definitely be an EOC question that ties these two together. And voting is absolutely an important part of this exam. Voting allows Americans to be heard, okay? To be heard on important issues like education and the environment, crime and war. These are all decided by who and what we vote for. We'll be coming back to this when we do politics, but in the meantime, it's really important that you remember voting is a big responsibility. Okay, so our next one is volunteering, and hopefully you have some experience with volunteering. Maybe your school has a community service requirement, which kind of goes against the spirit of volunteering. Remember, you don't get paid to volunteer. Uh, we volunteer to help improve our communities and the lives of the people we live with. Okay, now kids in this country are, are doing some pretty amazing stuff when it comes to volunteering whether we're talking about cleaning up beaches or food drives or collecting goods for the homeless, volunteering is very important. So give it a try. It makes you feel great. Okay, so again, let's review our responsibilities. Voting, staying informed, running for office, petitioning the government, and volunteering for community service, okay? Before we move on to our review for citizenship, let's take a quick look of some of the perks that only citizens have. Only citizens can vote in America. Uh, only citizens can get a passport. You can never be kicked out of America once you're a citizen. 
It's easier to bring over your relatives if you become a citizen. Only citizens can run for office and only citizens can get government jobs. You're also eligible for government benefits such as financial aid. So that's it for citizenship obligations and responsibilities. I'm gonna put up a short video uh, with review questions from the two citizenship benchmarks. So be sure to subscribe. I hope you learned a little something. And if you keep up the good work, I know you are going to ace your exam. So thanks for watching, scholars.